Hi, this is Brett with Aim Small, Miss Small TV, and today we're on our second episode of accurizing a rifle. We're doing that via action screws, and why are we doing that? To control barrel, I'm just calling it barrel whip, to tame the harmonics in the, in the barrel. And the idea is to just get tighter groups, ultimately. Okay, this is a series, and if this happens to be the first video you ran across, I'll go ahead and put a link in the description with the playlist. And also at the end of the video, I'll put the playlist where you can click on it here. And then this is the second episode I've done with the CZ457. I'll put that link, you know, right above there so you can click on that if you'd like to see that. So far in the accurizing, I've done, of course, the CZ457. The previous video was of a Savage TR, a Mark II TR. And my next one will be of a Tika T1X. So please... I guess take this opportunity to like, subscribe, ring the bell so you can get notified when the next videos come out. After testing the rifle, which you saw in the it will you saw or you will see in the previous video, I decided to go with 2.6 newton meters, which is 23 inch pounds, and today at the range I shot an ARA target and five round groups. I did the five round groups with both the uh, SK Pistol Match Special and I did the Center X. This is my last year's, the SK is my last year's ammo I used. This year's will be the Center X. Let's talk about those results. First, I would like to, well, actually, yeah, let's talk about today's results. That's this guy here. I'll go ahead and put, you know, the picture on the screen. But the pistol match special was 0 .30, 0 .19, 0 .32. I was pretty impressed. I mean, all good groups. And over time, I've shot this pistol match special, I mean, a lot of groups on video. And, the, and it seems to be very consistent. So I, I'm happy, very happy with that round. The center X. 0.22. 0 0.17, 0.21. The pistol match special ended up being an average of 0.27 inches. The center X ended, ended being an average of 0 0.20, which is great. Uh, let's talk about what the measurements were before the accurizing. 0 0.30 for the pistol match special and 0.26. Okay, the difference is, uh, actually, in both cases, three-tenths of an inch. That's something. It is smaller. And ultimately, you know, it's, it's tightening up those, those split pairs, as I call them, and making them smaller. And it seems like, at least for the CZ, it works. The CZ is already a pretty darn accurate rifle, and I think just kind of doing this little, uh, I don't know, project seemed to eke out just a little bit more. And ultimately, I think it was worth it. Let's talk about the ARA target, which I'll go ahead and put up. It was 2400. Now you'll see in the video that it was windy. I had put out flags, as I usually like to do. Uh, especially when there's wind, so you guys can kind of see where my rounds land versus what the wind's doing. I, I'll tell you what, the, I, I really just watched the flag closest to me, which is, I set out probably about, let me think, it's probably out about 10, actually, how many yards is that thing out? That's, uh, actually, I don't know. I'm not even, I, I mean, I, I want to say about 15 yards. I, I can't, can't honestly remember uh, where I put it. And that, you know, that flag is the one that I look at because it's got the longest impact as the barrel is going down. I put a second target probably right around 40 yards. That, <laughs> watch the flags. They're doing two, two separate things almost the whole time I shot this target. So I'm actually, the target score on here was 2,400. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. But there are some things I want to point out on this target, so let's take a look at it. As you're looking at the uh, image, this is how I shot the target. 
Actually, let's take a look at row 23 going uh, left to right. As I mentioned earlier, row 23, that bullet landed where I aimed. Okay, we have target 18, fine. 13, fine. 8, 8 landed low. You know, probably, you know, a quarter inch below where I was aiming. Okay, I had a choice there. I had a choice to raise, you know, raise the rifle because the, the round was low or keep it where it is. I chose to keep it where it was thinking, you know, there was something else besides wind or whatever, barrel temperature or something that, that caused that round to go down. And so I kept the same hold, fired the, tr the shot on target three, and you, see, you can see target three and target 13 landed in the same hole. So number eight, who knows why that was low, but it was low. And I didn't try chasing that. And, and that's something you really should think about when you're shooting uh, for precision. As usual, I'm gonna ask at this point to please like, subscribe, ring that bell. We're gonna have the videos of all the, the five round groups and the ARA target coming up next. And if you choose to go watch those, Godspeed. And at the end of the video, I'll have the two links for you. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more. CZ 457 at one, <clears throat> SK pistol match special, first five round group. Second five round group. Okay, third five round group.
Okay, CC 457 at one. Lupua, center X. Little bit of a breeze. First five round group. Okay, second five round group. That was a good group. Pretty sure that was five. <clears throat> okay, third five round group. Huh, I don't think that was five already. Let's do one more, maybe we're gonna go for six. Or something, somewhere I lost the round. Okay, I don't know if that was five or six, but that was a great group. Okay, we've got wind, we've got an ARA target, factory class, flags, CZ457 at one, and Lapua Center X. I'm gonna try to mentally shoot this like I'm in a match, we'll see what we do. It's never fun when the flags are flying opposite each other. I'm gonna start with my ciders.
All right, we'll see where the flags are, but for now I'm kind of zeroed for that front flag flying around two o'clock. Uh, that's not good.
So I don't know why, but since target 12, the wind doesn't seem any heavier, but I'm having to hold off to the left more than I was on the original, on the first row and the first two targets. Weird. That's exactly where I aimed, just so you guys know. Okay, uh, got lucky and battery died, but because of where I have the camera placed, I saw it die. Okay, if you look at target eight, it was low left. I did not move my point of aim to compensate. I've been too burned too many times doing that. I kept the same hold and the next target was good. Figured that was worth mentioning.
Okay, notice the previous four shots were low, so that that shot I aimed a tad bit higher, and I am aiming around nine o'clock between the dot and this circle. Thank you. 